it is a manipulative spirit if you are told you can recall in the days of Jezebel and Ahab Ahab had seen a vineyard that was planted he wanted to buy the vineyard but the owner of the vineyard refused when he went back to the palace and he was sad Jezebel Jezebel the spirit asked the king why are you worried and the king responded the reason I'm, I'm worried is because Naboth has denied me of his vineyard and Jezebel told him and you the king of this nation this is how we are going to do it and Jezebel went and connived and they destroyed Naboth the owner of the vineyard Amen. There is no one that Jezebel will fail to attack so that he can plant his own staff. It is okay. If at all he convinced Ahab the king that it is agreeable for us to destroy Naboth. He's going to do the same thing unto you, the covenant wife. He will do the same thing unto your children. Are you very manipulative? I I am now going to fight a war. When you arise and say that I'm going to fight this war of Jezebel, this war against this manipulative spirit, or you know, be ready for attack. Amen. Be ready that you will be attacked. I told you that I had kept silent. And I waited for these people that are filled with evil spirit to go up on their pulpits. I waited for them to occupy the TV shows. Because I don't want to allege. So, so that everyone will see them evidently so that I'm not alleging against them. We have, with the allegations, we have no proof. Amen. But we are, we are living in a time where the Jezebel spirit has attacked the church. And Jezebel is a spirit that teaches the servants of God how to commit immorality. We that went through the Bible school they told us that if you are at all preaching the gospel relate your sermon with something that is happening in your community no regions Russia and Ukraine you cannot expect me to be in Uganda that I preach about Russia and Ukraine and I preach to you about Putin that I don't know. Yet we have an evil Putin that has come against the church of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know but the Bible does not allow me to defend myself. Bible tells me to defend myself. But it allows me to defend the needy. It allows me to defend the poor. They are covenant women that they have displaced out of their homes. They are 
efforts have been denied of them. They no longer pay school fees for their children. Their children are no longer eating well. Can you read it in Proverbs chapter 31? Verse 8 to 9. Speak up. For those who cannot speak for themselves. Not a ledge. Not a ledge. But speak up. Not speak quietly. But speak up. For those who cannot speak for themselves. For the rights of those who are destitute. There are those women that cannot speak for themselves. They built the ministry. And the ministry attained a level where it is. And they cast them out. And they, they cast out the children. They don't have food to eat at home. They don't have school fees They don't have school fit for their children. The Bible commands us to speak, to stand with those people. Agamba, speak up. Agamba, you and judge fairly. Defend the rights of the poor and needed. I am not alleging. Deal If it's if I cannot speak for, I can bring her here so that she can speak for herself when they last sent her money to eat and when they last paid for the school fees of her children. Speak out for the destitutes. Speak out for the needy. Speak out for those who have been denied a voice. Be a voice for those who are muted. Bible so you car. Not only that one alone. There are young ladies that don't know the true path to walk into. They are looking at someone that has stood like them and said, oh, maybe let me do as they have done. Our young girls. I'm speaking out for them. You don't have to be sluggish. You can work out and earn for you. You earn your money. You can get a husband, your age man. Don't, you don't have to walk into a curse to make a covenant wife cry. So I'm going to continue speaking out. And nothing is going to intimidate me. Amen. Pastor Jessica is red and she knows how Jezebel fights. Hallelujah. Amen. Apostle, you're highly welcome. Amen. We greet you in the Miracle Center wing. As we are still destroying this evil spirit. Amen. Speak about these young girls, the way they intrude into other people's marriages. And they think they are the best. They are the ones worthy for that position. Amen. Amen. Praise the living God. He is called Apostle Wycliffe Chiguli. He comes from God's rich healing church. Mitiana Road. Kurugudo Remitiana Walim. Ah, njaroke ba zakato na mami lo akisila chompa dechino. I thank God, Pastor Jessica, for the grace you've given me. 
And the time God has allowed me to, to give this testimony. That's the equation I've been going through all those years. And the way God visited me and he delivered me out of it. You've given me a question about these young girls. The way they break up in marriages that of people that have grown together. Their mothers' marriages. Most of the young girls don't want to do anything. They want the finished work. What I've discovered through all those years, the young girls want money. If they have that evil spirit of Jezebel, they know how to entice the grass that is upon your life and they pamper you and they speak those funny words and, and it seems to them that they know the grade that you've attained more than the covenant wife that you worked up with these young girls can pamper you they see those mistakes of the covenant wife at home they, they take their time for, so that they can discover and, and when they talk to you just see oh that's how my wife is someone may admire a place yet they cannot actually stand it mm. Proverbs 18 19 9, Proverbs 18 9 a sluggish person a sluggish person a, a sluggish person that does not want to begin from scratch is a sister or a cousin to a spoiler is a sister to a person that destroys I've seen people intrude in other people's ministries and they destroy them and they occupy someone else's business and they destroy it. There is someone who I saw that they that overspeak their poor or they eat the bikamandos. Let me tell you 80% of your congregation bikamando. If at all a chinana kuchukumi of your your congregation each commando, banakubambi they are poor, they are needy. Nayenga ba kuataka senti, but they get the little they have. Ka 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 chukumi atano. The fifty, the hundred. Amen. They actually they walk in their niginas. The rain has overspread on them. And, and they give in their fifty shillings, their hundred shillings. And you gather the entire offering and you buy airtime. And you say that they are poor. And you say they feed on commando. And who still canonizes airtime in this day and era? Sorry? How can you canonize airtime in this day and era? And you say airtime 
Someone breaks up into something and they destroy it to the core. And they speak things that are disconnected. Hallelujah. Now, Julia, Do you have a microphone? Read us some 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 um some questions so that we can answer them. Amen. God, Pastor. I'm not a born again, but the spirit of Jezebel has invaded my marriage. What do I do? I would love to, I request you come to Miracle Center Cathedral and we fellowship together. In also to channel 44. And also you take a call number to an amount of channel 44. Apostle Chiguri te ya jana kumira center ya take a call channel 44. Apostle Chiguri wasn't fellowshipping here at Miracle Center, but he used to tune channel 44. By the way, Mama Robina Ajencha, Mrs. Robina Chiguri Hadija is coming tomorrow. Ajencha no reche njia ba nete mumi singa. Don't miss tomorrow's program. Ela rubera kule ya unakura kutende desa kusanyu kakuwevazi. It's going to be a day of rejoicing, giving thanks unto the Lord. Kati mbadi yangu saba kwe gamba. Bible gamba in the presence of God is a fullness of joy. Bible ya tu gamba mukubela ukwa mukame wali yabujevu wesani. You can only get fulfillment. O sabo lo kumatizi waluka in the presence of God. Goli mukubela ukwa katunda. Join us. Let's pray. Let's speak a word of deliverance. Let's decree and declare a word. Let's speak to the demonic altars that have been built in your marriage. Come and join us and let's pray together. Jiango tuwe gateko tu sabe tu asangu zeti gamba chakon tu ziki. Hallelujah. Hopefully you are hearkening. You are sent this question. Should we talk to people who are sinning or should we just pray and fast for them? Uh-huh. Ezekiel 33. Verses 8 speaks about this issue. God himself. When I say to the wicked man, you will surely die and you, and you do not speak out to dissuade him from his ways. That wicked man will die for his sin. And I will hold you accountable for his blood. If anyone dies in their sin, God will keep us accountable of their blood if at all we knew their sin and we never spoke about it. But don't speak what you don't know. I wanted someone to come through to identify themselves that I broke up into this person's marriage and it is plainly so that I can come through for, to them. If you have some, if you see something and you have proof about it, go to those people and speak to them. If at all they die in that sin, if you know that you cannot attempt to go to them, if at all there is not one person and it's a congregation, get somewhere you can stand and speak to 
them where they will hearken unto you if at all they accept your words they will believe and they will be changed if at all they don't accept the truth that you've spoken to them and they accept to go to hell their blood will not be on your head that question is, is, is relative amen use wisdom if at all they are your relatives or your parents if someone is younger than you, you have an authority to speak to them. Hallelujah. Amen. The third question. I work with a Jezebel and mm -hmm. the reason why she only wears long dresses is because so, 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 speak I loudly. work with a Jezebel mm -hmm. and, and the reason why why she only wears long dresses because she developed a disease some years back that scarred her legs even when she wears short dresses she has to put on winter boots I know information. Amen. At what yes, a bed and get it food Hey, this one has Jezebel. Amen. Amen. That's where your, your workplace is now. You are reporting that Jezebel. What are you doing on channel 44? Amen. We, the reason we are born against, let them speak about the body shape we shall not talk about the thighs that have wounds we shall not speak about the stuff amen yes we may know the situation but we shall not go deeper you know, because the onus is on her to, to, you know, to either prove or not prove. We are believers. We are here to destroy this evil spirit of Jezebel. Amen. Hallelujah. Kati. Uh, is not, it's not a crime. Amen. And infirmity is an attack. Amen. You know, so, uh, Amen. If you are praying, you are working with her, pray. Saba. Seek God. I've not understood your information. <laughs> that one was giving us information. Oh, yeah, information. You are giving us information. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, we shall not tamper with the wounds. Whichever skin disease, nothing. We are attacking the spirit of Jezebel. That teaches the ministers of God. It is the one we are dealing with. That's the evil spirit we are coming against. It is the one we are coming against. Amen. Amen. Apostle, you've spoken about being slothful and sluggish. Write these scriptures because we're here to learn.
Bible gamba Proverbs 20 verse 4. Proverbs abiri olunyoro kuna. The lazy man does not plan in autumn. Omuntu enga jabatate kate kamobude wache ya. He will seek he, he will seek a harvest in the time of harvesting and have nothing. In our youthful days, is your time to prepare. You still have the energy as a young girl. You've gotten the blessing. So ma go study. If you've not gotten the grace, the opportunity to study, first of all, go deeper and seek God. God can elevate. Your time, your youthful days are for you to prepare yourself, times for you to sow. I'll introduce to you people that have sown in their youthful days. When you fail to sow in your youthful days, in times where it seems that you are in your wilderness, you will actually grow greedy, wanting to show off in another one someone else's effort. You see other people beginning to harvest. They toiled, they got married as they were still youth. As I got married to my dear husband in our papyrus church, in our wilderness we sowed, we never slept in our beds. When time for us to harvest has come, you may come and say, oh, so that Pastor Jessica now. But in my seasons, in my youthful years, I never slept. I sought God. I fasted. I prayed. And I beseeched God to bless us. As you seek God, you are sowing your good seeds. When your time to harvest comes, you will harvest. But there are those sluggish people that slept in their youthful days and now they are old. They never sowed their good seeds in their youthful days. They never sought God. They never did business. They never went to school. Now they want to invest where other people have sown in their effort. They have the same years in which they want to invest and they were sleeping. In my youthful years I sowed, now I'm harvesting. When they see you knocking in other people's harvests, they will just wonder. And they will speak about you and you accept this evil spirit of Jezebel to conquer you. You are actually looking out for harvests. Younger, as long as you can sow yourself in God, how do you sow your seeds? Go pray. Fast and seek God. Figamen and Sigay, yes, sent an angambo, and Sigayoku Siva, and Sigayoku no Yamukama, and Sigayoku Tambulida Mutukirifu. Not only the seeds of giving money, but you can sow in fasting, walking in holiness and righteousness. You will harvest the goodness of the Lord. The Bible goes on to say the riches that you've earned in sin. The 
to bugaga buno bokole bwa bokole bokole de mu chibi te bugasa mu bisere ebizi bwa mu kuluna ko roku obudde buno bokole e sentence no zokole de mu chibi the money that you've acquired and seen won't profit you in times of disaster that is the scripture i'm looking for it That is the scripture in English. That the the, the 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 money made in the, the the wealth accumulated in sin. You've caused tears in other people's lives. No seven years, seven years. Chitawa ya lekera wamu ereza school fees mu maka mu 2018. Amen. Biri kumi na munana. Amen. 2018. He actually he forsook the elder children that they don't belong to him. Even the young son is not given school fees. The Bible says. The, those riches, the wealth. Wealth begotten by vanity shall be diminished. It is Proverbs. I think it is 33 verse 1. Over 3 verse 1. For, yes. Wealth begotten by vanity shall be diminished. But he that gathereth by labor shall increase. This entire money that you are gathering you are causing other people's children to cry they don't feed well the last born was left three years or four treasures of wickedness profit nothing but righteousness delivereth from death you begotten wealth well, in you begotten wealth will vanish. It will diminish. But he that labors with his hand, so, but he that labors with his hand, that one will increase. Amen. Amen. Other people's children are crying. I am not alleging. He who alleges is a fool. Amen. I have evidence. Amen. When I come to speak about an issue, I've got an evidence about it. Brethren, to be so careful to be again there is a new. To see game which is a church, yeah. Let us sow in our days when they're still in a wilderness. To know you come and be said, yeah. Let us seek God faithfully. If, if you grow older and you just impose yourself on other people's stuff, they will despise you. I used to know that only young girls break up in other people's homes. Only. That's how I thought. But now ladies of my age, they can actually take me back to university and I stay there. But for them they cannot. They are knocking, breaking up, showing themselves off. I used to know that young girls Amen. 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 I used to say that if after they get a, a father, they get you with a young girl. Hopefully that one is expected. So you're going to be a little bit of 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 a little
Amen. You see a young girl. Now you a grandmother. You've actually gotten an extension of a week. And now you are positioning yourself. Amen. Amen. Bring the seat. Now, What is a legacy? And you see this young girl. Amen. Come through, young girl. Amen. This young girl. Amen. Now, you see this girl. Amen. This young girl. Amen. This young girl. that you see. If they say this girl. this girl. Amen. off Pastor Kayanja. You say, she's a young girl, let's seek God so that the evil spirit will lose her. You say, eh, the girl swept off Pastor Kayanja. Let us seek God so that she will be delivered. What really worries me up to see a grandmother, a grandmother. Is just actually breaking through into someone else's home. Hope we would think a person to break into someone else's home would be a young girl of her age. I can be fire. Yes. Yeah. Now. Yes. It's about time we accept. Honey, you and me. The years now we've spent together where we are. It's not that actually we show off in marriage. It's not that we show off and break into other people's marriages. The years we are in, me and you. Amen. This is the size that show off. In actually in the seat of a band. Yes, these young girls, they're the ones that slay off in the Range Rovers. Eh? But you and me. Amen. It's at times that we spend in our homes. So that we take care of our grandchildren. If those, that shows that you spent wrongly your times, your youthful days. Now you come and you show off a 52-year-old lady. Now you are showing off. I'm just there. I want to sweep off a pastor. I roll the eyes, the eyelashes. I'm here. Mm. Amen. I'm on the roadside. I want the pastor. Yes, my 52, so that I look good before my hubby. I come from here and I go through a roadside. Pastor has not married me off and he has not actually. Amen. the eyes. Amen. I've gone to Karere. I've showed off and the pastor has, has left me off. I went to Ndeva so that I show off and the pastor ignored me. Mama. Why don't they actually gaze their eyes on you? That's not the for you to, to put to show off sister or Uganda or baba sister ladies 
Let us occupy our homes. Amen. You go to the sauna, you go, they make up on you so that you return home to your handsome man that you left there, the one that you've grown up with. Amen. Brothers, who unto you? You leave your covenant wife and your agement. And you bring eh, the lady, the same years of the wife that you married. Eh? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> How? But it's so worse and evil. No. Amen. No, 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 no. Amen. It's not good. This is the size. Amen. She's the young girl. Amen. Amen. I will tell her you are this young girl. She's the young girl. I would have been shocked if they said, oh, they found him with another mom. Amen. 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 If you're actually forsaking the covenant women and you don't want us to scorn you to laugh against you, stop bringing our agements. Amen. Pastor Jessica is 52 years of age. I can wake up one morning and I lie you. I'm 26. I can actually go through maybe. I can also go through. But if you see me showing off Showing off is not is not is position mining myself strategically. Amen. Positioning Position yourself strategically. strategically. Hmm? TV. Neri na yon TV. Neri na yon TV. Amen. Let me position myself strategically. These years. Years cannot position themselves strategically. I can look the way I want to look. Amen. Because I'm in my marriage and you say, Papi, you are smart. Amen. That dress is so good. You look wonderful. Amen. Mommy, you look yes. smart. I am the most confident woman in the world. Amen. Because to be where I am at at 52 years. Sorry? At 52 years. Amen. To look the way she looks. Amen. She's not positioning herself strategically. She has been in her marriage with Pastor Robert Kayanja 30 years. She got married on 21 years of age. Amen. This year she's going to be 52 years. Emiake ja 21. A 21 year old girl. Emiake ja 21 jari ja kusiga muche ya. There was nothing. Amen. Those were my years to sow in my wilderness. We had nothing. Katibo uli ya chigundi wa mkute nono. Banda nge nga mga neda akawala kama mkubia na hitu gobe mizimu tu sabi. Amen. When you, they find out a pastor kaya ya found up with this young girl. You can say let's pray and seek God. Na yeze li yoka tingamba nsabechi. I can say what should I pray for? What should I pray for? It's sheer madness. Sheer madness. Now this on her edge to position herself strategically. 
she has all this beauty naye acha njaga kutegeza anti naye mfungo she is a married wife aina bana basatu she is a mother of three mama mama mase muwala wange yafumbirwa mutabani wange yes the daughter got married to a son we yogereko eh ko ine miaka imeka tsoke tuboze ina 3 muna kakati gogamba chacho ina 3 muna mono wa 3 muna 38 years of age banange mulekelao kulimba stop lying to us She is 38. Miaka 3 mu munana moddo omulabi. Naye asobola okwetega. But actually she can, can position herself strategically. Naye asobola kunonya wali media. Amen. She can look out for any media. Atenno kukaka sagwenga wagenze ne wetega bulunji. If I told you could go and position yourself strategically. Abo bachiguli ovayo. You can swim off Apostle Chiguli again. <laughs> Ovao bakutemie bakubatemi nekwe sebo netuweranga tukulisera tuwoleleza bimbe jja bibi eh we are trying to plead oh she's young she's beautiful she looks good eh eh ayambala bulunji ah she puts on well yebika ah positioning themselves wakati wali avude ko office na kuba Olisi maichi muguddeko avude ko office na kuba she came out of the office and she called na kaba bana ichi na bya tubika ne banange enseno kando senda mwabamira ko center te muri mukumbu kubiri kukuba kuba chitu ina bya tubika kati ono ye mucha ina bya tubika mami ah wama yogera chitu ina bya tubika mami we are not covering anything zenjaga kwebaza mami i would like to thank pastor jessica bulunji men thank you for looking well Webale nakututerawo thank you for setting the pace Webale kuterawo mutindo Webale kuterawo mutindo Amen thank you center chizibu okusanga omuwala It's so okay. hard to find a young girl Not even a young girl even a woman Omchala Not looking good Ngafana na bulunji Kubanga mami otuteredewo Amen you've set up a standard Otuteredewo buli wetu tambula batwegomba Wherever we go the admirers set the pace for Otadde wo mutindo eri abachala We bale nyo mami Thank you very much Ate mami we bale kwekuma you 52 but look at you Amen Oweza tano mwe bidi naye mulabe You're looking good go game azima Amen oh fana na bulunji mama You look very beautiful Amen Webale nyo Thank you very much in the gap for us No kwimira mu chituli kurafe And not even only physically kutukulembera physically Not to lead us only physically But even spiritually Memo say yo moyo Webale ku thank you for being a voice in a million Webale kubere dobozi mu kuyanja Many women have kept silent pastors wives have kept quiet banja bachala baba suma basirikire ne bafire senge mu closet agambale mi fight in the closet but you have fought in the closet and oh. you have come out to to address this spirit one day mu chisenga yetu talaba no vayo ne mu lujude okutulo boyo guno and i have fought even financially and even financially i have fought even financially amen for people who have been deserted by their fathers for people who have been deserted by their husband i have stood financially the so get up okay amen i don't just speak empty words so get up okay i don't just speak empty words ah uh, people may not recognize me but god recognizes me o inzo butankone na muno takiriza na yele guru lili mabega wa and that is the attitude that you have set for us amen yendaba ye bintu jotteredewo ah soko ko ma o kati mpulira omanyinze bintu bimusibi waliwe ya danyumisa twaliwe ya dagamba simanyono arrelating ana bavubuka which bavubuka where are you talking about amen which <laughs> kind of youth are you talking about that we are raising we are raising a, de- a, 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 a generation that fears god tuyimusomule mbogutya katonda we are raising a generation that knows god We are raising a generation that despises Jezebel. We are raising a generation that 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 hates unrighteousness. We are not raising lazy people. This is a girl who can take any home. 
Amen. You cannot actually have to calculate and organize her. When you look at her, she's a married wife and she has her businesses. The money you spend buying people, invest in the ministry. Money Thank you for setting the pace for us. And I want to talk to the young ladies. It is, do not disrespect yourself by going for someone else's husband. It is it, it, it devalues you. Naturally, God gave women beauty. And for every woman, God created a mate. Don't be there and think that there are many women on earth and less men on the earth. On the earth. No way. We are, we, we, every man has a woman. And every woman has a man for them. And to all my friends and my, uh, yeah, the young ladies, do not look down on yourself. Married men will approach you. Even me before I got married, they approached me, mommy. Yes, even up to now, they still come. But, but you know, I remember one time, we were here in the riot conference. Actually, it wasn't right, it was uh, those Saturday services. Campus night. Campus night. Campus night. Every time we used to come. Every Saturday. Every Saturday. Uh, and there are these guests, Pastor Jessica and Pastor Robert used to bring for us. And there was this gentleman from Nigeria, a pastor. I've forgotten his name, but one thing I remember is that it's Pastor Jessica who introduced him because Muzei wasn't in the country. And this man of God was talking to us young people. We were young people from campus. You know, you know all those things. And this pastor spoke to us and said, and he told us, you, people, you young women, do not go for married men. Now that is like, like about 12, 13 years ago. And he told us that, you know, every time you, you take someone's man, the angels, every, the angels of the woman will come and fight you, the angels of the children will come and fight you, and you will never have peace. These were very many years ago, even before Pastor Jessica came out physically to come and address this spirit of, of, of intruding people's marriages. And at that time, it's the time when there was this married man on my case. I was not married. I was, you know, campus fresh. And and I that, I ran. I blocked the man. But amazingly, he even did not come after me. These married men, they love their women. 
Do not be lied to there is a man for you. There is a man for you because that's what the Bible says. And even if you have been in someone's marriage right now and you know, you, you, maybe you're saying, Kambele watena beda won't ya. You, you can live, I have seen testimonies, mommy, of people who are married even after they have three children. There is a, a young lady. They did not quote a girl. Amen. They didn't position themselves. There is a lady you hosted on one Jessica Kayanja show, so I think in the first episode. She was in someone's marriage. Nazaleo naba naba satu. But omoyo mtu kubiyabeda murumiriza and she left the marriage. Amen. Walubu kufumbo te walibu we and she came and she was coming to testify with her husband, mommy. Yes. Amen. Yes. Mga, I remember that mga, show. Mm. Yes. Mga, she has gotten herself a man. Amen. This ono mchala ya limbu fumbo wa munenga azadeyo abana basatu na yewe we ya uri ya chigambo chakonda ya vayo and I want to advise the young ladies do not respect men respect I want to, to, to say that respect men respect men because if a young man comes and approaches you every woman has a grace called intuition amen amen Yes, you have an uh, intuition whereby you can tell that this man is here to tell me something, even before he says it. Obana mageza go kumanyanti ono msaji ngeni jansi mbeda mu aina chaya galo kungam. Mano bata na chogera. If you don't like him, do not abuse him. Boba to muaga de tovumate. Don't say he's a stupid man. To muita musiru. Every man was created to be respected. Buli musaji ya tonde boku siwa mwechiti. Respect men. Even if he was late. His lame respect the man. I want to ask something. The, the married man who was after you, did he have money? He had money, mommy. Yes. He, he was a lawyer. He is a lawyer, big lawyer. A lawyer, monene. And he had a lot of money, and there was every reason for me to go with him. If it is, if it is, uh, if it is, t if it is taking care of me, he was willing to buy me cars and all those things. But it, it's all, it is nothing, mommy. I'm, I wasn't ready to be fought by George. So, young, and with this Uganda we live in, especially here in Uganda, you can make money anyhow. In the Uganda, we truly are so much more than simply about the quality of what you are. And there is a special favor God has put on women and young girls. When you get your things and you say selling this, you will not lose customers. Amen. You get your things and you say selling this, you will not lose customers. Amen. You will find people not only who are coming to you, but who are coming to you. Do not go for married men. First of all, those are strings attached. Tono nyaba sadya ba fumbo au bota deko bokuwa kurizo. Those are strings attached. You can you can do something. O sobolo kuba akoche we kolera. You can come to girl power. They skill people. O sobolo kujambuere zaba girl power no ba kubio igirizwa no we kolera. They skill people. They baba igirizo kola with their hands. Ne baba some sa they take them. They take them to school. Amen. So you do not have any reason to go really. Apart from disrespecting yourself and devaluing yourself. Every woman has a value placed on them. But every time you go for a, a married man, you're devaluing yourself. So I want to add to uh, urge the young ladies. Do not accept, even if it is uh, Elon Musk coming for you. Amen. Even if it is Dangote coming for you. Amen. 
I'm talking about the richest people in the world, even if it is Bill Gates coming for you. And he's going to buy you the whole of Uganda. It is, it, 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 there is no blessing in that. There is no blessing in that. Every man, her, every woman was created. The Bible says, Mommy, when we used to do the prayer clinics here, there is a scripture that you kept saying, I had never seen it in Isaiah 34, that there is a mate for everyone. And you would pray for those people who, yes, it is in Isaiah 34, verse 16. Mm -hmm. Yes. You see, seek ye out the, of the book of the Lord and reach no, you, and read. No one of these shall fail. Sorry, no, none shall be denied a mate. For my mouth it hath commanded. And his spirit it hath gathered them. Isaiah 34 verse 16. It is very bad, mommy. Amen. Yes, there is a mate created for you. And it's very bad, mommy, to position yourself in a place where you're going to be used by the devil. It's so bad for you to be okwesa mchifonga stani yagendo kukozesa. These days you call it okwetega. <laughs> so bad to put, to put yourself in that place whereby it, the spirits will come and dwell in you and cause you to do things that are not just uh, when mommy, there is one time during the lunch hour I never miss the lunch hours one day mommy was was crying out to God Ngagamba, oh God, let righteousness prevail in this land. Thank you for standing in the gap, mommy. Thank you for positioning yourself in a place where God is using you to, to change things spiritually and physically. Most people had kept quiet. Those people who are saying that uh, she should not talk about it, it is time to talk about it. And mommy, it is falling. Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel is falling. It is falling and we can't say that the people have not been fighting against it. They have been fighting against it in the closet. And of course some people don't want to be insulted. Some people don't want to be called bleached. Some people, you know, people are afraid. People are afraid because like I said, Jezebel is a very manipulative spirit. But those of us who can speak against it, because if we can't speak against it now, it will reappear in your daughter's marriage. It will reappear in your son's marriage. Maybe they are serving God. But if a, 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 a godly example is not given, it, this spirit will reappear. So we need to be, you know, we, we, we need to be on our guard and we need to speak against it. When they tell me they have gotten Pastor Kenya with a person, I would have expected to get him with a young person of her age. If they say she's 38 and I say, surely she can, actually she can say she's 30. There is someone that can say I'm 38. And they are the same age meant like Pastor Jessica. And they gather her, they prepare her, they tune her up, and they tune her up so that they, she can be in the contest. 
I'm trying to speak to you that is trying to gather up themselves. You are like my age, Mrs. Kayanja. Oh, let's sit and occupy our homes to wait for the grandchildren. Occupy your family as you wait for the weddings of your children. Don't lie, people. You cannot hide your you cannot hide age. <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> Mommy, you look younger. You're oh, not. There are years you cannot hide. And people will question, what are you doing? What are you trying to teach? What are you speaking anyway? You know, you know, you know, don't you see your edge? No, okwelaba. Kumbango liya ina. Don't you see yourself? Ochitegeera. Gwe. Wali wewe chini tu kwe gamba. Ngana wao chitu nuli na noga vana. When you look up at yourself, by the way. I mean, ngana si chala. Every time I look at it, I'm wondering what on earth is going on. Eh, nebu za chichi gena maso. What is going on? Chichi gena maso. Mami, ah, kusonge yo. On this issue, this Jezebel. Aina katinaya akuzie mustairo ba aimprovi nzi. Ina ya yeri nisize dala. Yeri nisize dala. Yeah, ah, styro tuli tuli ba tuli. We are allowed to call a styro zafu. Amen. To call a styro zafu. To call a styro zafu. To call a styro zafu. It's allowed. Na ye, but but just a bit of a mumbai mbusut. Amen. But just a bit of a mumbai mbusut. But just a bit of a mumbai mbusut. Why wa why wa where is that message? Na gamu wa fe just a bitu. Smanya arika kuwanga smanya amabu abichi. Ah, Jezebel's put on long dresses. I didn't buy begamba. Rend your heart and not your garments. Bible to gamba to use them in the mass. So see the ambaro. Kuvanga bobanga udalo yamba debu suti na inga tori makaga amolala. If you are in a gomesi and you are in someone else's marriage, yes. We chiri. Ngori mu gomesi na ngori mu nyumba yachi. You are in a gomesi and in someone else's home. Oh, oli wa chiguli. And you are in a person's home. You are You find elderly women. Oh, they have painted themselves and they look like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about those that can wear makeup and the years still show off. And they fail to cut years. However much they bring which oil, which hair do, the years are evident. Amen. The other evil spirits and places That's when we discover it's an evil spirit. If we find a man, an elderly man with this young girl, we say, oh, maybe this girl swept off her pulse. Let's pray that she may be the one that is going to 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 be the one and you say now it is totally it has to be uh, demonic how dare you leave the young girls like this one if you wanted at all you wanted another test to leave the old woman and come up with a new girl and you leave the young girl and you leave a young girl a model of our days and you bring another that you have to work upon left right and center and you are trying to prove to us 
that this this was worth it. My brother, it was not. And my sister. And there years. We are occupying our homes waiting for the mates of our children so that they bring us grandchildren. Because we are taking care of ourselves as you can see. I don't want you that you despise yourself. Work upon yourself. Because we have husbands that need us to look like this. Impress. You are no longer in those years of positioning yourself rightly. Choose to serve God faithfully. Amen. You can be an evangelist and a person of any age. Now. They find me positioning myself rightly. I am trying to cut walk. Hey. <laughs> what do they call night dancers? Amen. This night dance has been consumed. Let's pray for the offering. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you so much for the, for, for the seed that is falling into the ground today. As it dies, let it bear much fruit. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed to serve you. Amen. Amen. And amen. And amen. Amen. If you are married, work upon your life. Don't say, Mrs. Kanja said we have to occupy our homes as we wait for grandchildren. Mrs. Kanja is 52, but you see the way she has clothed. You have seen the heels she has put on. Amen. It has its own glory as you occupy your own territory. You are not breaking into someone else's home. Amen. They won't tell you the time has waved over you. Amen. These are the young girls that you deserve, deserve to say, you left the covenant wife and now you've brought a young chick. You see she's a born again. She's serving God. She got married to her agement. They are of the same age. They have given birth to their own children. They have their own children, their entire family. This is not, by the way, we did not mention the name, we said Spirit of Jezebel. Amen. The, the evil spirits came out. Amen. How dare you, dis did you discover that I'm attacking you? I'm attacking this evil spirit of Jezebel. The Spirit of God. Is a convicting spirit. Yes, I'm preaching this word, but it is a two-edged sword. If they have not spoken about your name and you, you are convicted and you think they are talking about you, repent and change. It is not too late to come back to God. It is not too late to become an evangelist. Yes, you are saying, Amen. Jesus said, Go and make disciples of all nations. Amen. And Jesus met a, a woman that had spent her life with six men, and she was old enough. When this woman met Jesus, she, she left the pool. And she went ahead. And she began to preach to the people. 
about Jesus. And he said, I've met a man that has told me all the stuff about my life. When she met Jesus, she preached about Jesus. She never went back to the six men. Brethren, if I told you you've been captured by this evil spirit, you, you are well able like this Samaritan woman of six men you are well able brethren to wake up one morning and you serve met Jesus and you begin to preach the gospel there is no one that told her leave preaching the gospel people hearken than to her Amen. Apostle Chuguli came out that I was an adulterous man and now I've forsaken that evil spirit. Now he's preaching and the entire world is listening unto him. Brethren. My agement. You yes. can also forsake adultery and come back to the Lord faithfully. Amen. We are speaking to you as fellow elders. I am not admonishing a younger girl. But I am I, I, I'm addressing a fellow elder. Amen. You can actually forsake this evil spirit and preach the gospel again. When you preach the gospel, you are sowing your good seeds. The seed is the word of God. If you are preaching the gospel, you are sowing your seeds in your youthful days. All Uganda, brethren forsake someone else's labor and go preach the gospel go to the villages God will rebuild you again and restore his glory upon your life when the glory of God cover, covers your life a person who would have looked like this young girl you may look at them and say ah, I really wonder is she real of that age but about the age Yes, the glory of God can revive you again. Go to ginger and preach the gospel. Go to Fort